talent in the comfort of a very nice facility among friends and among people that we both work and live in this community with. And that's in really sharp contrast with what people in Turkey and Syria are experiencing. Cold weather, outside, no roof over their head, probably separated from their loved ones, missing their loved ones because tens of thousands of people lost their lives. So it's in very sharp contrast that we have two scenarios going on tonight. I would say though, there's one thing that connects us in a very strong way, and that is humanity. When we see someone, when we see a community, when we see a country that's faced hardship and devastation, and the images that we've seen over the past several weeks have truly been heartbreaking. There is a, a, a motivation to help out, to extend a helping hand. And as I said at the press conference, I don't think you could have picked a, a better, better title for this initiative, Markham's Helping Hands. I think it reflects not only the spirit tonight, but truly the spirit of Markham. We don't have a large Turkish community here in the city of Markham. And we don't have a large Syrian community here in the city of Markham. But you know, numbers isn't what motivates us. Need, vulnerability, compassion. That's what motivates us. And so Markham's helping hands are certainly evident tonight. They've been evident over the past few years as healthcare workers and seniors and those who uh, are vulnerable in our own community saw many of the same people in this room tonight, many of the same corporations reach out and give a helping hand over the last few years. For me, that 